everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to apply the learning target, I can investigate and formulate proofs involving the mid-segments in a triangle and trapezoid. In this problem, we are asked to solve for the missing measurements of the angles in the triangle below. What it doesn't tell you is that Y is representing the mid-segment of this triangle. Since this is the mid-segment of the triangle, what we know is that each end point of the segment is the midpoint of one side of the triangle. So therefore, these two pieces are congruent since um, we have one midpoint on the side and these two pieces are congruent because, again, we have a midpoint on the other side. So knowing this information, we can solve for a lot of the missing measurements that we do not know. So starting off with x, well, since um, we have a midpoint, x has to be equal to 21. The reason it's 21 is because if, it's, if we have a midpoint right here, um, a midpoint divides a segment into two equal pieces. So one of the pieces is 21, therefore the other piece is also 21. Next, we can take a look at z. So with z, we know that one part of the side of this triangle is 16. Therefore, the other part also has to be 16 since we have a midpoint. So the total length of z is 16 plus 16, which is 32. So z would be 32 units. Now we can take a look at y. So taking a look at y, y represents the mid-segment of this triangle. So we know the property of a mid-segment of a triangle is the mid-segment is one-half the length of the third side, or the side that it's parallel to. Well, the side that y is parallel to is 14. So one-half of 14 equals 7. So y is equal to 7 units. And last but not least, we're trying to solve for a. So if I go ahead and erase everything that we've seen so far, um, solving for a, what we learned about the mid-segments of a triangle is that they are parallel, so therefore these two sides are parallel. And if they are parallel, then we can see these as parallel lines, and we can see this as the transversal. So this is kind of a flashback. If we think of these as parallel lines cut by a transversal, A and 75 are corresponding angles. So therefore, the measure of angle A is 75 degrees. Nice work.